From Hollywood, here come the newlyweds. Yes, it's the newlywed game. And now, let's meet our newlywed couples for today. Couple number one. This dapper newlywed proposed marriage to his wife in a bedroom. He had pneumonia at the time and she was nursing him. Married just 10 months, Larry and Paula Johnson. Couple number two. This couple met at college. She first asked him to date her girlfriend, but then took a second look and decided to go out with him herself. As of today, they've been married just six months, Bob and Judy Miller. Couple number three. This newlywed husband loves Italian food so much that they cut their honeymoon short and flew back from Hawaii so his new wife could fix him some veal parmesan. Married just six months, Henry and Terry Robinson. Couple number four. These newlyweds rent a Mr. and Mrs. motorcycle on weekends so that they can ride together through the sand dunes. Married just five months, Ronnie and Ellen Gaccioni. Those are our newlyweds for today, and here is your host, the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubank. Thank you. Thank you very much, John Beach, and good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. Well, the mail's beginning to pour in on the newlywed game, and we received a letter from a woman in Grand Island, Nebraska. I'd like to read it to you. My husband and I have been married for 10 years, and you would be surprised how little he knows about me. I wrote down some of your questions and had my husband answer them. He answered only two. Well, as you know, our definition of a newlywed is a couple married less than one year. But very soon now, we're going to have an old timer's day on the newlywed game to see how our couples married over a year know each other. And we'll be back to see how well today's wives know their husbands right after this message. The newlywed game is brought to you by Woodbury Shampoo. It's like putting a hairdresser in your home. And by Bristol Myers, the makers of buffering. What's the matter? Oh, I still have that same silly headache. Did you take aspirin? I did, but I've still got it. Well, take some more. Mm, I'm not supposed to. Not for another couple of hours. You never know how annoying a headache's going to be. So the minute your head starts hurting, take Bufferin. With Bufferin, you've got more going for you against pain. Compared to simple aspirin tablets, Bufferin delivers nearly twice as much of this pure pain reliever when you need it most. Without the stomach upset aspirin can cause. Take Bufferin. It's faster, more effective than simple aspirin tablets. With Bufferin, you've got more going for you against pain. I wonder if using this new band spray deodorant will help my golf game. Well, it'll sure get rid of one handicap. <laughs> new band spray protects you from odor day and night. It's the new long-lasting spray, band spray. It helps. All right, girls, here we go with the newlywed game. Your husbands have been secluded off stage. They cannot hear your answers. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to answer these questions as you predict that your husbands will. And every time that your prediction matches your husband's answer, you'll be awarded five points. Now, remember, the one couple with the most points at the end of the game wins an exciting grand prize selected especially for them. So let's see how well you can predict what your husbands will say. Girls, how will your husband complete this sentence? I would most like to see my wife take a course in... Ellen? Language. Language. Terry. Um, not cooking. Driving. Driving, you say. And Judy. Golf. Golf. Pa uh, Paula, what will Larry say? Law. In law. <laughs> Question number two. Girls, which of the following will your husband say comes closest to describing his reaction to a beautiful girl when you're with him in a public place? Will he say that he stares openly, tries to conceal his glances, or has lost interest? What do you say, Paula? Uh, he tries to conceal his Tries glances. to conceal his glances. <laughs> Judy? Tries to conceal his Also glances. tries to conceal. Terry? He thinks it's okay if he looks. Which one of the three will it be then? Um, he doesn't conceal it. Doesn't conceal him. Stares openly, tries to conceal, or has lost interest. Which one of the three? Uh, he stares openly. Stares openly. And Ellen? Stares openly. Stares openly also. <laughs> Girls, what will your husband say is the most exerting thing that he does around the house? Which one? Ellen? Housework. Housework. You make him do housework? No. No? <laughs> Terry? Uh, picking up his clothes. Picking up his clothes. And what will Bob say, Judy? Mm -hmm. Picking up his clothes. Picking up his clothes also. <laughs> Paula, what do you predict Larry will say? Um, taking out the garbage. Taking out the garbage. <laughs> All right. Here's the last of our five-point questions now. Girls, on a one to ten scale, with Sophia Lauren being ten, where will your husband rate your general sex appeal? 
One to ten scale, Paula. Well, he'll say ten. He'll say ten, I see. Judy? Mm, five. Five. And Terry, what do you predict Henry will say? I'd say ten. You would say ten. Ellen? One. One? Okay, girls. Thank you very much. Now, we'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds and see how well the wives have predicted what their husbands will say right after this message. But first, let's take a look at Bob and Judy Miller, moments after they were married. I'm borrowing your... <gasps> Lucille! There's a man in your medicine chest. It's my hairdresser. Your hairdresser? New Woodbury Golden Rich Shampoo leaves your hair so manageable, it's like putting a hairdresser in your home. Woodbury Golden Rich contains conditioners found in professional shampoos. Result? Hair anyone can manage. Looks terrific. Put a hairdresser in your home with New Woodbury Golden Rich Shampoo. I've got a wife who lives in the bathtub. Nice girl, but she lives in the bathtub. Only comes out to get more Woodbury soap. She says Woodbury soap's got lotion softness. The more you use it, the softer you get. She says Woodbury soap gives you the skin you love to touch. Only I never get a chance. Cynthia, are you soft yet? Herbie, bring me another case of Woodbury soap. The wives are back, and girls, we've recorded your answers on cards. You have your predictions on your lap. Every time your prediction matches your husband's answer, you'll be awarded five points. And remember, the one couple with the most points at the end of the game wins an exciting grand prize selected especially for them. So let's see how well the wives have predicted what their husbands will say. Gentlemen, complete this sentence. I would most like to see my wife take a course in... What, Ron? Cooking. Cooking, you say. Ellen thought you'd say language. What's the matter with her cooking? Well, it's not too bad now, but at the beginning it was a little rough. <laughs> Quite. Okay. okay. She's got a nudge there, too. Henry. Oh, economy. Economy. <laughs> Terry predicted you would say what, Terry? Hold it up for us. Driving. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with your economy? Yes. In the long run, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bob Miller, what do you say? Golf. Golf. Judy predicted you would say golf, right, for five points. Larry Johnson. What's your law. answer? Law. Law, you say? Call us that law. You get five points for that answer. Here comes another five-point question. Gentlemen, which of the following comes closest to describing your reaction to a beautiful girl when you're with your wife in a public place? Do you stare openly, try to conceal your glances, or have you lost interest? Larry? Try to conceal my glances. You try to conceal them. Paula predicted you would say you try to conceal them, and you get five points for the answer. You're obviously not doing a very good job because she guessed it right. Bob? I'll have to go along with that. Try to conceal? conceal. Judy predicted you would say try to conceal glances, and you get five points for that one. If you haven't scored any points, here's your chance to pick up five. I'd have to say try to conceal. Try to conceal. Terry predicted you would say that you what, Terry? Hold it right up, hon. We can see it. Stare openly. <laughs> <laughs> try to conceal and stare openly at the same time. But... Ron. Stare openly. You stare openly. Ellen predicted you stare openly. You get five points. <laughs> Gentlemen, what is the most exerting thing that you do around the house? The most exerting thing, Ron. Getting up in the morning. Getting up in the morning. And Ellen thought you would say housework. What? I don't do housework. <laughs> Henry. Well, I guess cleaning up or picking up my clothes. Picking up your clothes? Terry predicted you would say picking up your clothes right for five points. Everybody has scored now. Bob, you can add five more to that stand right here. I guess taking the trash out. That's taking the idea. trash out? Judy predicted you would say, picking up your clothes. <laughs> no points. Larry? Uh, playing the guitar. Playing the guitar. Paula thought you'd say, taking out the garbage. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with his guitar playing? Well, I never take the garbage out. Oh, you never take it out. Wouldn't Here's... mind if you took his guitar out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're saying his guitar is garbage. Is that what you're saying? Well... <laughs> The last of our five-point questions, gentlemen, on a one-to-ten scale, with Sophia Loren being ten, 
How would you rate your wife's general sex appeal? One to ten, Larry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry with that answer. Don't let the bell ring. Ten. Ten, you say. Paula predicted you'd say ten. You get five minutes. <laughs> Bob Miller. I don't know if it's worth it. Um. <laughs> five. What do you say? Five. Five, you say. Judy predicted you would say five. Right. Uh, Henry? I'd have to say ten. You'd have to say Let ten. Terry thought you'd say ten. <laughs> you get five points for that one. Ron, you've got five points. There's a chance to add five. What's your answer? I would say ten. You would say ten. I see. Ellen thought you'd say one. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm not doing so good, am I? <laughs> I'll let you know later. I'll tell you what, though. We'll be right back with some 10-point questions, and we'll be back with just the husbands and see how well they predict what their wives will say on the newlywed game right after these messages. Take cover, head for the church! This is Vic Morrow. The combat infantryman in World War II wasn't superhuman. He was just a man fighting to stay alive. I'm going right down the middle, right through those shell holes. Cage and Kerbin are giving me cover from the flanks, but I need your help, Jake. I'll try. I'll try. You do it! War brings out the best and the worst in men. And any young man could suddenly become a hero or a coward in the heart of combat. So you're going to put on the German tunic? It's no other way. Well, you finally made your death wish come true. They will not tolerate insolence, Lieutenant. Your old birdie himself, who sent so many men to their death, he can't take it anymore. So you're going to light a bonfire and go out in a blaze of glory. The rules of war are simple. For one man to live, another must die. To see war through a soldier's eyes, watch combat on ABC. Know what makes Welch's grape jelly taste better than other jellies? We make it only with vintage Concord grapes. And we make sure the flavor is in to stay. Most other jellies let their flavor go up in steam, but Welch's special process traps the flavor, all the flavor. It's a little more work for us. It's a lot more flavor for you. Welch's grape jelly, jam, and preserves. And now, another natural from Welch's. When you drink Welch's Vintage Concord Grape Juice, you don't just get the natural flavor of Vintage Concord Grapes. You get something extra. Energy. Fact is, nothing gives you natural energy faster than Welch's Concord Grape Juice, bottled or frozen. Hey, right about now, Scott Beach should be ready to tell us about gifts for today's guests. Ready and waiting, Bob. Our lucky runners-up can win themselves this Bissell Deluxe Yard Chef, packed with modern features for easy barbecuing, push-button console, plus spacious storage cabinet. All the husbands on today's show will receive the new Hoover Electric Knife, lightweight with stainless steel blades for effortless carving every time. And every time our wives want the correct time, they can refer to their handsome new Waverly Decorator wall clock by West Clocks. And right now is the correct time for more of the Newlywed Game. Okay, thank you, Scott Beach, very much. And here we go, gentlemen. Your wives have been secluded off stage. They can't hear your answers. Now it's your turn to predict what your wives will say. I'm going to ask you some questions, and these questions are all worth 10 points, except for the last and final question, and that's our big 35-point bonus question. And remember, you'll be answering the questions as you predict that your wives will. Here's the first of our 10-pointers. Gentlemen, excluding people, what specific thing will your wife say is her most prized possession? Ron, what will Ellen say? Excluding people. Her, her sewing machine. Her sewing machine. Henry, what do you predict Terry will say? Her jewelry. Her jewelry. And Bob? Her car. Her car. What about Paula, Larry? Uh, clothes. Clothes. Gentlemen, at what specific sport or game will your wife say she's better than you? Larry? Uh, water skiing. Water skiing. Bob? Uh, ping pong. Ping pong. Henry, how about Terry? Ooh, tennis. Tennis, you say. And Ron, what will Ellen say? Football. Football. <laughs> really? 
She throws a lot of passes, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, which of the following types of girls does your wife think you were most interested in when you were a bachelor? Sexy, sophisticated, or sweet and innocent? Ron? I finally get a point. Sexy. Sexy. <laughs> what will Terry say, Henry? Uh, sexy. Sexy. Bob? Sweet and innocent. Sweet and innocent, all right. Larry? Sexy. Sexy, you say. Three sexies and a sweet and innocent. Gentlemen, how will your wife describe how you look in a bathing suit? How will Paula describe how you look, Larry? Nice. Nice. Bob? Uh... Hurry before that bell rings. Great. Great, you say. Henry? Good. Good. And what'll Ellen say, Ron? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Now, here comes our big 35-point bonus question. The 35-point bonus question, gentlemen, which of the following words will your wife say comes closest to describing you as a sleeper? Will she say that you are restless, lifeless, precious, or unpredictable? Ron, will it be restless, lifeless, precious, or unpredictable as a sleeper? Lifeless. Lifeless. Henry? Definitely lifeless. Lifeless, too. And what'll Judy say, Bob? Mm, precious. Precious. <laughs> Larry? Lifeless. Lifeless, you say. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for your answers. We'll be right back with the wives to compare answers on the newlywed game right after this message. But first, let's take a look at Ron and Ellen Duccioni leaving for their honeymoon. Good thing it's Teflon. Even burned food won't stick to Teflon, so it's always easy to clean. Cookware never needs scouring. If it has DuPont, Teflon. Loose sight is so easy to use. It's almost like having an army of painters on the job. Even painting the ceilings a breeze with Lucite. It won't drip or spatter like ordinary paints. And Lucite is pre-mixed, so there's no stirring or thinning. Just lift the lid and paint away. You bought Lucite ceiling and wall paint is so easy to use. It's almost like having an army of painters on the job. The wives are back, and now let's see how well the husbands have predicted what their wives will say. And remember, these are all big 10-point questions, so let's see how you do, gentlemen. Girls, for 10 points, excluding people, what specific thing is your most prized possession? Excluding people, Ellen. Uh, oh. Oh, huh? I've got a peacock oil painting I like. A peacock oil painting. Ron thought you would say, Ron, what would you predict? Your sewing machine. Peacock. <laughs> Terry Robinson. Um, my jewelry. Your jewelry. Henry predicted you would say your jewelry, right? For ten points. <laughs> Judy? Yes, the only thing I have is my car. Your car? Bob predicted you would say your car. You get ten points for that answer also. Paula. Oh, I have no idea. I just have to say my job. Your job, I see. Larry predicted you say your clothes. Oh. <laughs> no points. The next of our 10-point questions, girls, at what specific sport or game are you better than your husband? What oh. sport or game, Paula? Horseback riding. Horseback riding. How about water skiing? Oh. <laughs> no point. <laughs> Judy. Hmm. Hurry with an answer. Don't let that bell ring. I guess hearts. Hearts, hearts, you say. <laughs> Bob predicted you would say ping pong. Oh. <laughs> he lets you win, right? Terry. Uh, I think maybe tennis. Maybe tennis? Henry predicted maybe tennis, right? For 10 points. <laughs> Ron and Ellen, you've only got five points. There's a chance to add 10, Ellen. <laughs> is, is sewing a sport? <laughs> if you consider a sport or a game, which one? Horseback riding? Horseback riding. Ron thought you would say football. Well, I don't play something. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. 
You're playing left right out. You know that right now. <laughs> girls, Stupid. which of the following types of girls do you think your husband was most interested in when he was a bachelor? Sexy, sweet and innocent, or sophisticated? And Ellen, you're already looking at sexy. me funny. Sexy already, you say. Ron Budget says sexy. You got time for Terry. Sexy. Sexy, you say. Point. Henry predicted sexy, and you get 10 points for that. Right <laughs> Judy? Mm. Sweet and innocent. Sweet and innocent, you say? Well, I thought you'd say sweet and innocent. 10 points. Paula Johnson? It's got to be sexy. Got to be sexy. It is sexy. You get 10 points for that. All right, everybody scored on that one. Let's see how you do with this one. Girls, describe how your husband looks in a bathing suit. How does Larry look in a bathing suit, Paula? Nice. Nice. Larry said nice. You get 10 points. Judy? Great. Great. And Bob predicted you would say great. And you get 10 points for that also. <laughs> Terry? Uh, sexy. Sexy. Henry thought you'd say good. Um, sexy was the last question, well, remember? Better. <laughs> Ellen? Well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm right. <laughs> handsome? Handsome, uh-huh. And Ron said, unbelievable. He lives again. Just unbelievable. That's Henry and Terry and Bob and Judy, the entire game is very close. Everybody has a lot of points, and we'll be right back with our big 35-point bonus question and to see which couple will win their grand prize right after this message. But first, let's take a, a look at the affectionate wedding of Henry and Terry Robinson. Bonus predictions have just been handed out to you in case of a tie, so here we go with our big 35-point bonus question. And remember, the winning couple wins a grand prize selected especially for them. Here it comes, the big 35-point bonus question. Girls, which of the following terms comes closest to describing your husband as a sleeper? Is he restless, precious, lifeless, or unpredictable? And with 15 points, Ron and Ellen, 35 points could give you 50 big points. With the correct answer, is he restless, precious, lifeless, or unpredictable, Ellen? Lifeless. Lifeless, you say. Ron predicted you would say lifeless right for 35 points. <laughs> and now you have 50. Couple number one, Larry and Paula Johnson. You have 35 points. Or, you're right, 35, and 35 more would give you 70 points, and you can move right into first place with the correct answer here. So, what is your answer, Paula? I'd say lifeless. You'd say lifeless. Lifeless is absolutely right for 35 points. <laughs> All right, Larry and Paula Johnson, you're out in first place now. Let's see how long you can keep that first place position. Couple number three, Henry and Terry, you have 40 points. 35 would give you 75, and you can push Larry and Paula right out of first place with the correct answer. Terry, what is it? I think I would say lifeless. You'd say lifeless. Henry predicted you would say lifeless. Right for 35 points. <laughs> All right, Bob and Judy, the pressure is really on now because with a correct answer, you can take home a grand prize selected especially for you. If you miss it, you end up in last place. It's either first place or last place, Judy. What is your answer? I'd say precious. Precious, you say. Bob predicted you would say precious. Right. And Bob and Judy Miller, you're our grand winners for today. And now, Bob and Judy, let me tell you about the special grand prize we have just for you. We know that your one-bedroom apartment is so full of furniture that you couldn't fit another thing in it. We also know that you both like to get out and enjoy the wonderful outdoor living that California has to offer. So our grand prize for you should be ideal. A home away from home in the form of a brand new tent. And so you can find just the right spot to pitch your tent. We're also giving you a match set of Yamaha sports cycles. Yes, Bob and Judy, for each of you, are matching his and hers Yamaha sports cycle. For the missus, it's the Yamaha Newport 50, featuring the popular step-through frame and automatic clutch. 
And for Bob, it's the big bike styling of the Yamaha Campus 60 with telescopic front forks and upswept exhaust pipe. The Campus 60 has a cruising speed of 50 miles per hour. Here's wishing you many happy hours on your Yamahas from the Newlywed Game. Okay. Bob and Judy Miller, congratulations to you. Where's the first place you're going to go with those Yamahas? Uh, I don't know. I just right around, I guess. Just right around a little bit. Well, I hope you have better luck in the Yamahas than you did on your honeymoon. What happened? You went to Palm Springs on your honeymoon, and what happened? Well, we went mainly for the weather, and it rained the whole time we were there. You got <laughs> flooded out in your honeymoon? Flooded out. Flooded out. Well, you played the game very well, and congratulations for winning our grand prize today. Ron and Ellen, couple number four, uh, we heard an interesting story about you. Uh, Ellen, I understand that Ronnie was attracted to the pond at a, at a beach restaurant not too long ago. What'd he do? Well, he went swimming where he wasn't supposed to be. And uh, he was singing lovely hula hands with a camellia between his teeth? <laughs> That's right, huh? Mm -hmm. And you went in to dance, and what happened? Well, uh, they made me leave, not because I had, was in the pool, but because I was getting the dance floor all wet. <laughs> Whatever possessed you to sing lovely hula hands with a camellia between your lips? Well, I kind of got carried away with the Hawaiian drinks and all. I understand. <laughs> the punch was punchy, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, couples, thank you very much for playing the newlywed game. By the way, if you have any questions you'd like to ask us or like us to ask our newlyweds, I hope you'll send them to the newlywed game. Post Office Box 3070, Hollywood, California. That zip code number is 90028. And remember, too, that all questions submitted become the property of the newlywed game. Now, that's Post Office Box 3070, Hollywood, California. We'd love to hear from you here on the Newlywed Game. And Bob and Judy Miller, once again, congratulations for winning that wonderful grand prize. I hope you have a good time. This is Bob Eubanks saying goodbye. I hope you'll join us again on the Newlywed Game. The Newlywed Game was brought to you by Welch's for more great taste. And by DuPont Teflon for cookware that never needs scouring. The Newlywed Game is a Chuck Ferris enterprise in association with the American Broadcasting Company.